Hi guys, I'm back and this video today is about how to troubleshoot if your Laravel install is not working properly. Uh, basically, this is the common issue uh, new user of Laravel encounters right after the install. For example, right after you install the Laravel core supposed to be to create an app, you will type Laravel new and then the app name, for example, sample app. Then enter. You notice that it says here Laravel is not recognized as an internal or external command. Well, that is normal because basically in DOS, uh, if you remember before during your high school days when we were taught about uh, command prompts and etc. You cannot execute a command that is not existing in the directory or is not set up uh, in your path. So, if we check, let's say they are, you notice that we don't have the Laravel executable here. So, we cannot execute Laravel. So, how are we going to install a new Laravel app if it doesn't, uh, if it cannot find the Laravel uh, bin or executable so it's easy basically right after you install laravel uh, it will store the uh, it will install its uh, executable inside your uh, app data so you can see that in your uh, let me open something to demonstrate to you okay so this is your drive c right so basically, you can see it under here. Users, look for your name, this one, and then app data. Uh, basically, it's hidden, so you cannot see it right away. You have to make sure that uh, the view allows you to view the hidden items. So you click this one. And then here, you notice the kind of folder icon it got. It's a bit blurry because it means this folder is originally hidden so you double click this one and then you go to roaming and then after that you go to composer uh, this one and then you go to the vendor and then the bin so here you notice we have the laravel batch file here and the laravel file here so basically when you type laravel uh, it should execute this one Okay, so how are we going to do that? Because if we are going to type here any Laravel command like Laravel new sample app, it won't or it won't run up. It, it doesn't run because basically the computer doesn't know the location of the Laravel. So you have to tell it. How are we going to tell the computer? We're going to set up our environment. So we are going to copy this, the location, this one, and then you go to your uh, system uh, by going to control panel all control panel items and you click system and then go to advanced system settings you will see this one and then here in the environment variables you click that and then we set the path okay remember that this is a path this one okay so we're going to copy this and we're going to add it here oh, where's that Okay, we're going to add it here by double clicking. And then you notice we have lots of paths here, you know. So we're going to create a new one. So new and then type the path here. And then okay. And then okay. Okay. Sometimes you need to restart your computer, but most of the time it just works all right away. So let's try. Laravel new another sample oh see uh, you need to restart your computer <laughs> if it doesn't work you just have to restart your computer then it will work again or maybe if I will open or close the command prompt and then call it again maybe it will work let's give it a try but if it doesn't work then you just have to restart again your computer okay so let's start, let's try, uh, then Laravel new, 
another app. Oh, it works. Okay, you don't have to restart it, but just close your command prompt because when you load it, it's still using the old uh, path file. And then basically, you just close the command prompt and then open it again. So it will use the updated path file which contains the Laravel. And then you can see there now that it works. Okay, that's all. Good luck.